I'm at the house at 7903 Chestnut Bar in the Meadow Brook subdivision. Going to give you a 360 of the neighborhood here. This subdivision is uh, close to Randolph Air Force Base. Also, Fort Sam Houston is not too far away. Uh, very close to I-35 uh, and Loop 1604. Straight ahead is a dead end at the end of the street, and if you turn left, there is also another dead end street off of there. So, this is not a through area, so you should have low traffic near this house. The subdivision has a community playground, picnic area, a clubhouse, and jogging trails. It's li literally around the corner. You go up to the street a little bit, take a left, take another left, and it's down the street. So, basically, roughly behind this house behind the neighborhood's house after that and the street back there is where the community center is so it's right around the corner from this house now this house in particular we take a look inside this is a three bedroom two and a half bath square footage is roughly 2138 square feet it's also in a large lot the lot size is 0.2 of an acre so basically one fifth of an acre Take a look inside here. We'll point out the layout here. Here we have the living room, dining room, formal dining, and back through that way is going to be the uh, pantry, and around the corner there will be the kitchen. We'll kind of lay it out. At the entry here, we have ceramic tile. We've got beautiful laminate floors throughout the living room, dining room combination here. This will be your formal dining area. Let's go out through this side. We've got ceiling fans in a lot of the rooms. All the bedrooms have ceiling fans. I'll kind of scan back here so you can see a little bit different perspective of the uh, living room, dining room area. Okay, the kitchen. This is an area here you could put a, a smaller table for eat-in kitchen area. You have lots of cabinet space. Uh, you have the microwave, dishwasher, stove, and a very nice um, stainless steel refrigerator. So you got lots of cabinet space. Some on this area let me head out to the back patio we got a nice extended patio uh, half of it is covered as you can see right now in the afternoon it's about uh, two o'clock in the afternoon the time of this video you can see you've got natural shade already from uh, the way the sun sets so half of this patio is covered the other half is open so it's great if you want to do barbecuing entertaining got lots of nice mature trees here Around the corner, we have a, a little storage shed. I'm gonna walk the uh, yard a little bit since it's so big, give you a little bit better idea of the size. So this goes around to the left, beyond the house, to the left, towards the front of the house. Very good size yard. And you got the fenced area and the covered patio, so that's all great. Okay, let's take a look inside now. We'll go upstairs where all the bedrooms are. Well, first we'll head to the pantry area and the, and the garage. It kind of all connects together. We got a half bath down here. The commode. Your sink. And then under the staircase over here, we're back at the living room, dining room uh, area here. But underneath the stairs, nice uh, place to put shoes and coats. Big floor space there. And then the uh, walk-in pantry. You got lots of shelving space. And your washer dryer hookups.
And then this goes up to the two car garage. Pretty standard, just show it real quick. Uh, it does have a garage door opener, which is, which is ideal. Pretty standard garage size. Okay, now we'll head upstairs. Also have blinds on all the windows. Okay, let's go upstairs. Okay, let's lay out the floor plan here. Top of the stairs. A hallway bathroom, bedroom number two. Bedroom number three, which is the size of a master's. Right here, we're looking at the game room and right around the corner here is gonna be your master's. Master's bedroom. So we got three bedrooms upstairs and a game room. So let's start all the way at the left. Here's your hallway bathroom. You got the tub and shower combination. Looks like you got a dual shower head there, one that can detach to use uh, the extended hose. This is bedroom number two. Again, all the bedrooms have ceiling fans, which is makes it a lot cooler. And uh, I believe this is about 11 by 11 uh, bedroom size. It does have a walk-in closet, which is good. Good size closet here. Since we're gonna be looking at the game room here, this game room uh, about 18 feet by about uh, 13 or 14 feet across. So very good size. Set up your TV, uh, movies, games, etc. This will be a little linen closet. Okay, this is bedroom number three. Now this is a great size. This is the size of most master bedrooms. This is about 14 or 15 feet by about 13 or 14 feet across. So. You get the 13 to 15 feet range, it's about the size of a master's. Great uh, secondary bedroom size, ceiling fan. Uh, also, the house has recently got uh, fresh paint with all the bedrooms, downstairs, living room, family room, etc. Um, good amount of uh, fresh paint there. Just open this closet, you can see it's like four doors. I mean, it's the whole length of this wall here. Kind of scoot inside and take a look, see if it'll focus in there. So it goes all the way down. Okay, now, before we head to the masters, I'm gonna show there is another closet here that can be used for the game room. Good size closet and lots of extra shelves and shelves up to the ceiling there. There's your AC uh, air handler. And then we have the masters. And it's about 18, 18 feet by about 16 feet. So a very large size. Lots of room, you definitely put like a king size bed, some huge dressers, nightstands, and still have a lot of room to maybe set up a, you know, you're in, uh, in your bedroom office, a little desk and stuff. You definitely have room for all of that. However you want to configure it. I'm gonna take a look here since we're just thinking about it here as I'm looking out the back. Give you another view of the uh, back area. See if that, let me just turn off my light so I don't flash into the light. You can see that's a very good size backyard. Goes all the way across and a little bit around the corner too. All right, let's turn that light back on. There we go. All right, so we got a master's uh, bathroom. Got lots of space here. I'm not sure what you'd put in this area. Maybe a hamper or something that probably makes sense. Towel rack, medicine cabinet, extra storage there. You got your tub and shower combination. Definitely don't feel cramped in this uh, in this bathroom here. And then off of the bathroom, we got a huge walk-in closet. This is about um, 14 feet deep by about six feet across. So you got a huge amount of space here. Lots of room to hang. Hang items, you can probably put some uh, smaller dresser in here to get even more storage space. 
So again, the sunrise is about 2,138 square feet, three bedroom, two and a half bath, huge yard, covered patio. If you'd like more information about this home or would like to schedule a showing, you can call me. My name is Mark Fee. My cell phone number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.